Okay, it looks like we have a winner. The winner of the 2022 preferential ballot experiment is, hello, hello, it's Ryan Castleman and I'm back with an annual Oscar video to conduct yet another experiment on our everlasting quest to predict best picture in the era of the preferential ballot system. In previous years, I've done demonstrations showing how the Academy members vote on best picture using preferential balloting. Now, if you're new to this channel, confused, asking yourself preferential ballot, what, huh? That's okay, because I'm gonna walk you through exactly what the preferential ballot system is and a visual demonstration on how it works. And to up the stakes, I will once again be using real ballots that I've collected from SAG members and industry professionals, and I have those ballots right here. So let's see if these end results of this little experiment ends up being the same of what the Academy ends up picking as well. But without further ado, let's just jump right in. But first, a quick recap for those asking themselves, what is this preferential ballot system I keep blabbering on about? The preferential ballot system is a voting method the Academy has been using since 2009. And unlike other categories on the Academy Awards ballot, where members just simply vote for the one that's their favorite and the one that has the most votes wins, Best Picture is the one category that uses a much more complicated process in which members actually rank the Best Picture nominees from their most favorite to their least, and through a gradual process involving several rounds of eliminating the unpopular films and redistributing the votes to their second and third favorite choices, a film eventually emerges as the winner. If you're still confused, that's totally okay because I'm actually gonna show you exactly how it works right now. So in front of me, you see we have every film nominated for Best Picture this year, and I have those 100 ballots right here. Now today we don't have Price Waterhouse Cooper to count the votes. So we have me instead. I will fill the role. So I am Price Waterhouse Ryan at your service and I am ready to go. So let's jump right into it. So the first step as the Academy accountant, I would collect all the members ballots and then I would start sorting all the ballots by everyone's number one choice. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So we have one for Belfast. We have one for Coda, one for King Richard, one for Licorice Pizza, one for Power of the Dog. Okay, so I've sorted the piles by everyone's number one choice and here are the results. Also, I'll be using these color coordinated chips as a visual aid to help kind of represent every ballot's number one choice. Okay, so here are the results. Coming in last place, we have one vote for Nightmare Alley, followed by Belfast, actually, with five votes. Then we have Licorice Pizza coming in third to last with six. King Richard with seven. We have Dune with eight. Drive My Car with 10. Don't Look Up with 12. West Side Story and Coda tied in second place with 14. And coming in first place, we have Power of the Dog with 23 votes. So Power of the Dog has the most first place votes, so it's the winner, right? Actually, no, because remember, in order to win under the Academy's preferential ballot, a film needs to have 50% plus one vote in order to win. So in our case, we have 100 ballots here, so a film needs to have 51 votes in order to win, or 51 chips. And since no film has 51 votes, then we move to round two, which means we eliminate the film that came in last place, which in this case is Nightmare Alley. So Nightmare Alley, unfortunately, is no more Alley and it has been eliminated. Okay, so what we do now is we don't just throw this Nightmare Alley ballot away because the Academy still wants this ballot to have a say on who wins Best Picture. But since this particular person's number one choice was eliminated, they now distribute this ballot to the person's number two choice. So in this case, for example, this ballot had Nightmare Alley as number one, but its number two choice was West Side Story. So now we give this person's vote to their number two choice, which was West Side Story. So no film still has 50.1% of the vote. So now we move to round two and eliminate the film currently in last place, which is now Belfast, which is 
kind of surprising because Belfast is supposedly a top three tier contender, but in this experiment from the ballots I've collected, it's actually the, the second film out, which is pretty amazing. So I'm sorry, Belfast, but it's time for you to go. Go now and don't look back. You have been eliminated. Okay, and just like before, we don't throw away these ballots. We distribute these votes to their number two choice. So we have this one was, number one was Belfast, but number two was Licorice Pizza. This one was Coda. Power the Dog. Power the Dog and Licorice Pizza. So we just distribute those five votes. Two of them, their number two was Power the Dog. One Dakota and two to Licorice Pizza. Okay, so the new ranking now, we have King Richard with seven votes, Dune with eight votes, Licorice Pizza with eight votes, Drive My Car with 10, West Side Story with 15 votes, Don't Look Up with 12, Coda with 15, and Power the Dog now with 25 votes. But again, no one still has 51 chips, so we just go to another round and we eliminate the film in last place, which now is King Richard. So King Richard has now been eliminated. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the King Richard ballots and we're gonna redistribute the votes just like we did the others. But one thing to keep in mind, let's just say, for example, that the next one on this ballot was Belfast. Well, Belfast has already been eliminated, so we can't give the vote to Belfast. We can't give a vote to a film that's already been eliminated. So then what you do is you give it to the next film on play. You give it to the number three choice. And let's say that's Nightmare Alley. Well, that's been eliminated too. So then you go down to the number four choice. You always go down to the next film and play, and that's where the vote goes. So for example, we have King Richard. The next one is West Side Story. King Richard, now here's a vote for Coda. King Richard, next one was Licorice Pizza. King Richard, we have another one for Coda. King Richard, we have West Side Story. King Richard, Licorice Pizza. King Richard, Coda. Okay, so then you go ahead and distribute those votes to the stack. So no film currently still has the 51 chips it needs. So then we need to do another elimination. And it looks like now eliminated is actually Dune. And unfortunately that means Dune is officially been eliminated. I'm sorry, Timothy Chalamet, but it's time for you to shall away now. All right, so let's go ahead and redistribute the Dune's votes. We have Dune and then we have one for Don't Look Up. Dune, Power the Dog, Dune, Don't Look Up, Dune, Don't Look Up. Okay, so we have six votes of those went to Don't Look Up and two of them went to Power the Dog. All right, so let's go ahead and recap the score. We have Licorice Pizza with 10 votes. We have Drive My Car In with still 10 votes. We have West Side Story with 17 votes. We have Don't Look Up with 18 votes now. And we have Coda with 18 votes and Power the Dog with 27 votes. So Don't Look Up got a real big boost from that one. All right, so now we do another elimination round and we eliminate the film in last place. But currently, Drive My Car and Licorice Pizza are tied with last place right now with 10 votes each. But because Drive My Car has more number one votes, that means Licorice Pizza has actually been eliminated. Sorry, PTA, but you cannot PT stay. All right, so let's go ahead and redistribute these votes. We have uh, Licorice Pizza, number two was Power of the Dog. Okay, so I've just redistributed the licorice pizza. Let's do a little recap of the score. We have Drive My Car now with 12 points. We have West Side Story with 17 points. We have Don't Look Up with 20 points, tied with Coda for 20 points, and then Power the Dog still leading with 31. So now we eliminate the film in last place because no film has 51 chips. So we're gonna eliminate Drive My Car. Unfortunately, the car has broken down and it has been eliminated. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through these drive my car ballots and see where their votes lie. 
So we have drive my car and then we have power the dog. All right, so now that we've divided up the drive my car votes, let's go ahead and recap the score. We now have West Side Story with 21 points. Don't Look Up now has 22 and it's tied with Coda with 22 points. And then still leading in first place, we have Power of the Dog with 35 points. So now let's eliminate the film in last place by one vote. It's West Side Story has been eliminated. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let's go ahead and distribute the West Side Story vote. So we have West Side Story and then there's a vote to Coda. Okay, so I just retabulated votes. We have now the score is 26 for Don't Look Up. We have Coda now with 30. And we have Power of the Dog with now 44. But again, no one has 51 chips, so we have to do another elimination round. And that means that Don't Look Up has been eliminated. I'm sorry, Leonardo DiCaprio, but you got to Leonardo DiCaprio go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and redistribute the Don't Look Up ballots to the remaining two piles. Remember, one of these have to get to 51 in order to win. Right now, Power of the Dog is 44, Coda has 30. So what's gonna decide this race is what is ranked higher on the Don't Look Up ballots. If Coda is overwhelmingly ranked higher, it's going to win Best Picture. But if Power of the Dog is ranked higher, it's gonna win Best Picture. It's just a matter of how many ballots have what ranked higher, and we're gonna go through them right now. So there we go. So don't look up. We have on this ballot, it's number two, King Richard. It's been eliminated. Number three is Licorice Pizza. It's been eliminated. Number four is Coda. So there we go, point to Coda. Okay, so this is kind of an interesting ballot. This film has all the films ranked except one. They did not rank Coda, so maybe they never got around to seeing it, decided not to rank it. But number nine on the list is Power of the Dog. Now, because there's only two films remaining, Coda and Power of the Dog, they didn't list Coda, so their vote goes to Power of the Dog. Even though it's last on their particular ballot, it's still ranked higher than Coda because they didn't rank it. So that's where the vote goes. Well, we have a winner coming in with 62% of the vote. Power of the Dog is the winner of this year's Best Picture Preferential Ballot Experiment. Coming in second place with 38% of the vote is Coda, unfortunately, has been eliminated. Well, there you have it, everyone. This is how the preferential ballot works and how the Academy votes for Best Picture. If you want to see me demonstrate this experiment for other years, you can check out those videos here, or maybe I'll just leave those links in the description. You'll see them. Both times I ran this experiment, though, you should know that though it came close, both times the winner did not quite align and predict what the Academy ended up choosing as well. For the last two years, I did create a formula, though, called the Stack Stack in which I closely look at Oscar stats in order to predict best picture. And I've actually had a little bit more success with that correctly predicting the last two years. So if you wanna see that stat stack played out this year, I will have that video posted next week. So feel free to subscribe for that video and much, much more Oscar related content. I wanna thank everyone who reached out to me, asking me to make this video this year. I also wanna shout out Sasha Stone over there at awardsdaily.com. Sasha Stone has always been one of my favorite awards pundits and I always love hearing her commentary on the Oscar race as well as other contributors from awardsdaily.com so definitely go over and check that out. Other than that let me know in the comment section below whether you think this will line up with what you think the Academy will end up choosing and also let me know what experiments you want to see in the future. I always love hearing from you all until then I will see you at the Oscars.